hello everybody welcome back to the channel Shana here and today I have for you guys my um, Halloween coloring tag I believe it is I was tagged by a few people um, and I am finally getting around to doing it I was tagged by Penny over at Pebbles Adult Coloring um, Heidi Hornsby and I believe Adult Coloring with Skulls was the third one um, if you've also tagged me and I didn't um, mention you let me know down below because I must have missed your video or just um, messed up who tagged me so that's entirely possible um, but anyway thank you ladies for tagging me I'm very excited to do this tag um, and before I forget because I know I forgot to tag people in my scavenger hunt video but I'm actually not gonna tag anybody in this video so just feel free to do it if you would like to do it I'm gonna open it up to all of you guys let me know down below if you do do it and I will check out your video um, so yeah I am excited and we will go ahead and get into this so I have pages that have already been colored I have pages that are blank that I plan to color um, so yeah so you guys will be getting a little bit of a sneak peek before um, the end of the month pages. So the first one on the list, and I did I say who, I don't think I did, um, who originated this tag is Kitty Cat Colors or Kitty Cat and Colors. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I think it's Kitty Cat and Colors. Um, and I will, um, again, link her down below. I'll link everybody down below um, in the description so you guys can check out their channels and their tags and i think that's it um yeah so uh number one for this tag is a tombstone so i am in halloween horror which this book is now just called halloween i believe um and it is by color questopia it's the same book just by a different tag and i actually just colored this one yesterday so there is a tombstone here and tombstones in the background i'm gonna try to go through this somewhat quick you guys um I've got a lot to do this afternoon before I get back to work. So yeah, um, you guys will be seeing this at the end of the week though, so I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was a tombstone. I think, yeah, there's another one in here that I'm gonna pull out. The next one was a ghost. So I don't know if I'll get around to coloring this one because I am kind of nervous about it, um, about how to do it, but I believe she's a ghost. Um, so this is from Chibi Horror, and this is the page that I chose to be a ghost. I don't know that I will get her done, but we will see. I might try, but there's so many other pictures in this book that I really want to do. There's a witch, which is another prompt, but we're, oh, actually it's the next prompt. So there's a witch in here too, um, but there's other pictures that I think I want to color first, so we'll see. But that is my pick for a ghost. She is also on the front cover. And then we have a witch, which a lot of Halloween coloring books have witches. Um, but this one is the one that I chose because I really need to and want to get a page done in here. So maybe that's what I'll do this after this evening um, is sit and color the outline of one of these so that I can then go back and uh, try to do it. So maybe I'll do this one. So she's like a fairy witch, I guess. Um, and I just thought it was fun because they're like different kinds of witches. So yeah, this is my choice for that. And then we have number five is a pump or number four is a pumpkin and number five is a bat. So I also, I actually just finished this page this morning. So I chose this one. Hopefully they're not too stuck together. This is from Autumn Dreamlings. Might not have been dry, but it's okay. Um, by Edwina McNamee. So this is another sneak peek for you. And there are pumpkins and bats. And I just thought it was perfect. Freaking bats. <laughs> you know I had to say it. Um, so yeah, I am so excited about this one. There's glitter literally everywhere. Um, I put some glitter on the pumpkins and stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but their embellishments are glitter. Um, her fangs were white and the whites kind of soaked into the paper, but I kind of like it like that. So we'll see. I could go over it with Posca, but I don't know. So yeah, so that is my pumpkin and bats. And then the next page is also a newer one. I finished it before I went on vacation. It'll tell me on the back. Um, but this one is for number six, which is cobwebs, but also number 10, which is candy. 
And this is a body color with the wonderful Madison colors. Um, I haven't posted it or anything yet. So again, another sneak peek. There are cobwebs on her dress and up here, and then there's just candy everywhere. So I thought this one would be perfect. And then number seven, backtracking from number 10, we have a potion. And I have colored this one from Halloween by Prachi Sachdeva. Um, and I did this on the 8th, apparently. This is another one you guys will see again. Um, but this has to be a potion, right? It's pink. And then there's also potion bottles back here. So that's why I chose that one. And that one is very fun. And then number 8 is a vampire. And I chose uh, this one out of... Which I really do want to get done, hopefully by the end of the month. If not next month, then. Because I was listening to Nikki, and, like, I think I'll be doing the same thing. That's not the right page. I flagged a bunch of pages in here, and now, now I can't find it. Um, in Nikki's vlog, she said next month will be, like, finishing up Halloween coloring and starting Christmas coloring. And that's probably what I'll be doing as well. That's also not the right picture. No, it's got to be this one back here then, and I just was wrong. Because I know I flagged it. There it is. And I believe Danny Buttons just did this one on her live stream, which I think is funny. But yes, this is the page that I chose because she is surely dressed as a vampire. Um, I'm going to say she's a vampire. Maybe she's not, but she looks like one to me. So a vampire and her dragon. I think it's very cute. Or maybe he's a gargoyle. I don't know. <laughs> but this is the one that I chose for Vampire. I was gonna choose my Hannah Lynn picture that I finished did last year, I think. Um, but I, this is one that I want to color this year, so. Yeah. And then we have Zombie. And then we're gonna skip over, which is number nine, and then we're gonna skip over ten, because that was Candy, and that was in that other picture. So this one, this guy is a zombie, I believe. He's all ripped up. Um, and this one's super cute, and I definitely want to color. I don't think I've done one in this one yet. No, I haven't. Um, so yeah, we've got a zombie. And then, as I said, number 10 is candy. But then we have two bonuses, and one of them is a mummy, which I just saw another mummy just now. In here. There he is. But I chose first um, this one, because look at the mummy cats. They are so cute. So I chose those because I thought that they were um, different. So that is the picture I chose for a mummy. So I'm gonna leave these tabs in this one, I think, so that I can color them. And then the last one is a skeleton. So we're gonna go back to Halloween Horror. Or actually, no, we're not, my bad. We can, because there's a lot of skeletons in here. Um, not there. But there are a few in here. There's one, and then I think there's another one, but I'm not. The, yeah, that one. So there's a couple in there, but then the one that I actually chose that I forgot about <laughs> was from 50 Halloween Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova, and it is this one because there are lots of different skeletons. I don't know if that's a crab or a spider skeleton. There's people, bats, dog, cat. So I thought this one was fun for to choose as a skeleton. Again, I don't know if I'll get to all of these before the month is over. I probably won't considering I'm gonna be working like a million hours the next two weeks, I think, because <laughs> I was dumb and I put in for extra hours. Um, but we'll see, I'm gonna, there's another one with skeletons. I don't know where it went, there it is, and ghosts. So um, yeah, I do hope to get some more coloring done, hopefully in the evenings, but we will see. Um, yeah, so that is all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I think this is a record short video for me, other than that one that I posted on vacation. That was like a minute. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I so appreciate your support. You guys are the best ever. Um, and I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment uh, if you like the video. So I will talk to you soon. I love you. And stay safe and healthy. Uh, yeah, take care, loves. Bye-bye.